In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the chimes the right way after a tree of iron. Connector style. Boy. not always efficient to clean the hooks to the bottom hook every single time. If you're really far away from your hook on guys, it's definitely efficient to do so. But if, but if your lay down yard is really close to where you're hanging iron, then you can either throw it to the yard or you can just drop them in the hole and your hook on guys can just walk over and grab them. Most of the time it's common practice and a fundamentally sound, that's how you do it the right way is to uh, put all the chokers in the bottom hook, including the tagline in the hook. You don't want to put it in the eye or anything because you want the hook on guys to be able to undo the hook really quick and then dump everything out of there because the next tree is going to be already pre-rigged. They don't want to be messing around with all the rigging clear across their yard. So You want to be as efficient as you can because the crane is really expensive. So you and your gang need to make the contractor money so then your contractor can bid the next job and then you can proceed to pay your own bills. It's a big picture and thing. Some people don't care about the contractor and stuff, but I mean, there's a fine line. You want them to make money and you don't want to kill yourself. Also, if you noticed, my beamers were pointed the opposite direction of the rigging. That wasn't by accident, that was on purpose. That's fundamentally sound on how to be safe while cleaning the hook. Because the crane moves fast, and if that crane hooks up to your beamer, it could be the last time you breathe. It's, it's extremely important to do that, and to do it every time. You don't want to forget, in that one time, the rig hook up to your beamer, and all bad. All bad. So be safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, subscribe for more. Lots more ironworker videos to come.